Part three of discernment and the gift of discerning of spirits. So just like I talked about last time, we're supposed to be studying the word of God to get to know the God of the word. So we know what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is evil, what is of God, what is not of God. And this, any believer that knows the word of God can discern. You're taking what's being thrown at you, whether it's in the health and wellness community, or if it's in a church, or if it's in a book on a certain topic that you might like, you take whatever's coming at you and you always filter it through the scripture to see, is this of God? Let's now talk about like what Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10, that this is a supernatural gift of the Holy Spirit, discerning of spirits. So when I used to work for a Christian international ministry, we had a gathering one week. And it was weird this one day, even before much was even said, I just had these red flags going off. Um, one of the leaders who you know, worked there too, he was like, we're gonna pray. And then he's like, everybody close your eyes. And you know, just like anybody would say, let's close our eyes and pray or whatever. But then things started to get a little different. And right away, my blood pressure went up. And then all these, I don't know, red flags inside of me were like, this is not of God. This is not of God. And then the more and more time went on, I was just sitting there thinking, I can't believe this is happening. No, this is just me. This is just me. And, you know, he would go and lead people in what is called contemplative prayer. And it's a prayer method that is not taught in scripture, but it is taught like with my um, videos that I've been showing you, like in the new age and in um, on meditation, like this is everywhere. Anyway, he started leading us in that direction. And I'll tell you more about this in my next video.